So if you're in high school and you're struggling with time, you got many things on your plate and you're juggling a lot of subject extracurricular activities, then this video is for you. Now at this current point in time, click that subscribe button because we do have a lot of videos that's going to help you uh, crush your grades and actually make use of your time and your education. Now when it comes to time management, the first thing to understand is you do have multiple subjects that you're covering within a year setting. In order to help you manage your time properly, you have to break down every single subject into its own time, time slot. Let's say on this day, you're going to be focusing on math. On the second day, you're going to be focusing on physics and so forth. Assuming that you don't have any assignments, you don't have any exams, just simply brushing up on the information, which is a very important study tip to keep in mind. You don't want to accumulate things for the last minute. Always study ahead of time. If you do have an exam, two to three weeks will do depending on the size of the exam, and assuming we're talking about regular school's exam, a midterm, a final term exam, all these things, normally a two to three weeks, maximum to a month beforehand, will help you prepare all of these for all of the subjects that you have in a sufficient amount of time where you're not going to feel stressed, you know, you're not going to feel confined in terms of having too many things the last minute. This is what you would like to avoid or you should avoid. Avoid last minute studying. Don't wait till the last minute before an assignment to work on the assignment or a presentation or a project. Every single assignment, work on it beforehand. This is the key important uh, giveaway. If you do have extracurricular activities, try to spread them out within the week. You don't want to overwhelm yourself having too many activities in addition to your studies. Why? Because you will be exhausted after a long school day. Then to go for that activity, you get even more exhausted and you go back to school the second day and it's a chain effect. You reach the weekend, you're completely wiped out. Now, speaking of weekends, weekends is not about time. It's not the time for you to just simply do nothing and avoid studying completely. On the contrary, having a weekend is considered to be an opportunity for you to take a look at your upcoming week schedule, the things that you need to finish and do and prepare the stuff that you need to do in order to make your next week easier. Normally, students, what do they do? As per uh, my experience, they just simply wait for the last minute to do everything. Everything should happen today, right now, and we have to submit it tomorrow. And that will never work. Whether it's about presentation, whether it's your examination, doing things last minute is going to overwhelm you. And on the contrary, you'll not do a good job. You're going to actually sabotage your efforts and results, where if you are an A student doing everything last minute, your grades, grades will drop significantly because of that simple move. So avoid doing things last minute, avoid having too many activities at the same time and assume you can manage to do it all and give yourself sufficient rest, eight to 10 hours of sleep, quality sleep to help you function at optimal levels. If you sleep less than six hours or six hours a day at that specific age, let's say you're a 17, 18, 19 years old, it's going to impact the quality that you're having on the in, within the school setting in the next day. You're not going to concentrate in class. And once you go back home at the end of the day, you will be wiped out completely. Most probably either you crash, uh, you sleep for two to three hours, wake up again to feel overwhelmed by the things that you have to do for the next day. So let's try to sum things up. Try to spread the tasks that you have over a long period of time give every single subject its quality time two to th one to two hours a day let's say where you focus on your homeworks and you revise what you have done for the day if you do have an exam try to study at least two to three weeks up to a month before the exam to give yourself sufficient time to absorb the information to retain the information and to ask your teachers in case of any doubts or clarifications get some quality sleep avoid packing extracurricular activities within your regular school day because they do impact your performance on the next day make sure that you join our community because we do have lessons which are part of your curriculum related to physics mathematics sciences and later on uh, potentially engineering if you're going to become an engineer as well uh, these stuff are going to be quite uh, supplemental to your educational journey in addition to those tips that we're sharing with you based on expertise in the field so hopefully you found them helpful and we'll see you in the next video